My dear friends, fellow St. Lucians and constituents of Castries Southeast, it gives me great pleasure to take this opportunity on behalf of my family and I to send you best wishes for the Christmas season and the New Year. I also send special greetings to the hardworking staff of the Ministry for Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport, and Civil Aviation. As I reflect on 2016, I know that we have had a lot to be thankful for. This has been a year of surprises around the world, a year of tough choices, and a year of change. It is up to all of us whether we seize the opportunity as the new year approaches to be the change we want to see in our beautiful island home. Permit me to say first of all in my recent reflections, I am most of all thankful to my wife and family for their strength and support. I am truly thankful for the people of Castries Southeast constituency for their continued vote of confidence in me as your parliamentary representative. I express sincere gratitude for the encouragement you have given me throughout the past year and for the last several years I have served you. The road has not been an easy one for us in Castries Southeast, and I know you have faced some hard times, especially in the communities of Bexon, Mac, and Crownlands. Your strength and resilience as a community has fueled me to represent your best interest and to work harder on your behalf to reduce the flooding problems in these areas. Some of the major issues affecting areas of Castries Southeast are the high levels of youth unemployment and vulnerability of homes and businesses to natural disasters. These are recurring issues that have long afflicted us. I have heard your voice, listened to your cries, and we will make the changes. Je voulais prendre l'occasion ça pour vous remercier tout le monde en Saint-Lucie et expressement le monde en Castries Southeast qui a supporté moi en tant qu'il passé et pour souhaiter yo un bon année, un bon Noël, un bon saison holiday. Quand nous regardons par où est cela qu'on a représenté, moi ça veut dire que j'ai supporté moi en tant qu'il passé. Et nous avons remercié pour ça. Nous avons remercié la famille pour le support à nous qui continue à nous. Nous avons remercié tout le monde à Castries Southeast. C'est le troisième coup à nous qui est élu pour représenter nous. Et nous avons savons que nous avons un problème que nous pouvons adresser. Expressement en Paris, Mac, Bexon et Crownlands. Côté ces places qui ont joué un coup à Badlo souvent. Chaque tile la pli tombe. Mwen vle fè ou asiwe dat mwen kay twavay pli wèd di wan tem sa pou wèd dat nou sa menen pli soulajman bay se moun nan an plas sa. Paske la nan chay twavay ki nesese pou nou fè. Ek si nou me tet nou ansam, nou kay sa fè pli twavay. In dis, my third term, as your representative, I assure you of my commitment to continue to be your humble servant and to represent all. I also assure you that I will endeavor to address the big and small issues that plague our communities as best as I can, and I will continue to strive to make a difference in the lives and improve on the lives of all St. Lucians. In order to achieve this, however, it is essential that we all work together. We are coming out of an election year that has definitely divided us as a country. Thankfully, the colors of Christmas time have no political affiliation. The trees are adorned with gold, red, and green. And when they come together, 
they create quite a beautiful sight. The point is, no matter the outcome of the recent poll, we all have to look to the future with hope for this country that belongs to all of us. In this season of goodwill, I implore that we all think about where we are going as a nation and what we want to achieve. We also need to consider whether we have the best interest of the country at heart. It is time we change our mindset. Let us truly embrace a national sense of who we are as a people. This can happen by working with your neighbors, looking out for one another, and helping each other succeed, even in little ways. St. Lucia, despite the fact that Christmas is a festive time for most of us, we must look around our communities and assist those who are alone during this season or who have had a difficult time in 2016. Find the person in our community who may be battling illness or who is unable to feed their family and lend a helping hand. Let us create an environment where we don't turn a blind eye when someone is in trouble, where we check out for the elderly in the house we have not seen for the day, where we make sure we know where our children are. This is the true meaning of Christmas, and this is the St. Lucia we must aspire to develop. My family and I will also be reaching out to many of my constituents in the coming days ahead and I will pay my own tribute to the wonderful communities that I represent. I want to end by saying that I am hopeful. Despite that, we certainly have some serious challenges ahead of us. Going into 2017, I know we will make it if we take these challenges head on and Im with immense hope for the future. Once again, to the constituents of Castries Southeast and to all St. Lucians, I wish all a peaceful Christmas and a happy and prosperous 2017. May the joys of this season of goodwill accompany you and your families always. God bless all of you.